Hello and welcome to day number 12 of Aranor's journey into Skyrim. Good news. I think I fixed the driver issue I was having. Um, yesterday, after the day before, I was having crashes during play. Um, I had reset everything, completely wiped my system of any graphics drivers, checked everything, reinstalled just a fresh install of the newest graphics driver. And I didn't have any crashes during the game yesterday, but I was still getting lockups. And uh, so what I've done is I did another wipe of the graphics driver. And I actually rolled back my driver to the previous version. Um, and I did this because later in the evening I was playing another game not Skyrim, and still having the graphical lockups. So I know that it wasn't Skyrim causing the issue, it was clearly something to do with my graphics card. So I've rolled back the driver to a previous version, and I had updated my driver on about Saturday, and it was since then that I've been having these issues. So I rolled it back and then I was playing the same game, not Skyrim, but the other game that I was having the graphics lockups in, and I did not get any issues. Um, so I'm hopeful that by rolling back my driver, I have eliminated the problem. Um, so actually what I'm going to do here before we get started is I'm going to go ahead and load back in the uh, other mod that I had with the uh, extra distant objects, because why not? It should not, I mean, it really didn't fix the problem anyways when I removed it. So there's no reason to have really done that. So, let's find it here. Distance overhaul. And I can't remember which one I'm supposed to do. I don't think I... oh, I did giant campfires. I think that's it. That's all I did. Alright, finish. And yes to mod. I can't remember if there's any ESPs or ESMs or whatever in this mod, so I'll have to check, and then I'll have to check my load order. Sorry for the delay, I should have done this before I started up my stream, but to be honest, I wanted to get it done, even though I didn't remember until after. So probably what I'm going to do is, after this is done, I will welcome everyone again to Day 12. And when I save the recording, I will cut out the start. Okay, so close that. Run Rybash. Run Boss. Come on. There it goes. Close Rybash. And open it again. And it should have rearranged my list. And indeed it has. Okay, so we're good. So everything is back to the normal before I removed that. So welcome to day number 12 of Aranor's journey into Skyrim. Let's get started. After the customary share, of course. Tweet. Tweet. 
and done. Yep, hopefully the issue's been fixed after rolling back my driver, eliminating the issues that I was having, because I was having them all while also playing a different game, not only Skyrim, so that eliminated that it was a Skyrim issue. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully, because when I rolled back the driver, I was no longer having the issue in the other game, I'm hoping that will translate into Skyrim as well. I am going to purge cell buffer while I'm in an interior cell because it's a good idea. And uh, if you missed it over the last couple days while the graphics issues have been going on, uh, we still were running around in Falkreath. We finished some quests. Let's look at the map. And uh, we had been down here to um, uh, Knife Point Ridge, and we cleared Knife Point Ridge for the Jarl of Valkyrie before going over and finding uh, Valdir's hunting party at Moss Mother Cavern and helping him clear it of Spriggans and such. We then headed over to Bloated Man's Grotto, where there was a hunt for the werewolf Sidier going on, the werewolf who had escaped from the dungeon in Valkyrie. Uh, but we were sympathetic to his cause, and uh, because Hirsin wanted us to kill him. So we went against Hirsin, or so we thought, and we helped him kill the hunters, and so he said he's going to live here peacefully in Bloated Man's Grotto, staying away from civilized life. But when we left, Hirsin was pleased, because we had turned the hunt inside out, making the hunters the hunted. So he uncursed his ring, which we now have, and if we should ever deign it necessary to become a werewolf, then we'll have Hercene's blessing in that. Um, so what we're doing today is we obviously went back to Falkreath where he wanted us to purchase property, so we've done so, and we went over and built ourselves a simple lodging, though we haven't equipped it with any furnishings as of yet. Um, and so that's what we've done. Now today... We still have some more tasks for Falkyrie, and uh, the Jarl there wants us to help his people. So one way we can help his people is by talking to Valerius in Helgen. Um, Marcus Janus in the inn there in Falkreath wants us to do that, because he knew Valerius back in the day, and he wants us to pass along a message that he would like to meet up with Valerius. Apparently... Uh, Valerius leads a gang of mercenaries of some sort. We don't really know too much about them. But we know that they uh, fought against the Thalmor during the uh, Great War, and we like that about them. Uh, the other things we have to do are um, Bloodlet Throne. Um, we have an ancient vampire to destroy there, apparently, for another the previous Jarl of Falkreath his ancestor apparently escaped his grave and needs to be destroyed and then we've got Runel the priest of Arche who's lost his journal and feels like we can find it within South Fringe Sanctum so those are some tasks and then the dog wanted us to go to Hamer's Shame so we may very well consider that as well depending on time frame I know I'm not going to have time to do all of that today, but we'll do what we can. But there is also the concern of this house. As you can see, we're going to need some way to keep this property protected. Now, how do we do that without completely abandoning everything about it. That's the question. We have to figure out. We need some sort of a steward or house carl, somebody to watch after this property. Um, neither of the girls seem too well suited for the task, to be honest. And so they're going to stay with me for now. I think Lydia will probably end up in Whiterun, watching after Bree's home for us. Um, for now, 
They're good. I'm also thinking about looking up an old friend and um, checking in on Gore. Don't know what Gore's been up to since we really released him from our charge, but uh, if we're th around Riverwood, we may very well happen in the end there and see if he's still hanging about, and if he is, we may very well task him with uh, watching our property here. Why am I still so over-encumbered, I wonder? Hmm... Oh, because I've got some weapons I don't still need. That's better. Alright. Ladies, you guys didn't have anything, did you? The corner. Which corner? All of them! Hmm. Need to trade what do you need things. to take? Do you have anything? Uh, no, but you need some arrows, don't you? Yeah, let's give you some arrows. Should be fine. All right. I'm right behind you. Lydia, do you have anything I need to take and store? I am sworn to carry your burdens. No, but you need arrows as well. So let's give you. Those are 22. These are 20. Those are 21. Steel arrows. I don't know why I'm using steel arrows. Alright. Let's get going then. Yes, let's do that. So we're heading over towards Helgen, which our house here at Lakewood Manor is closer to Helgen than Falkreath would have been, so it's good that we stopped off here. And of course we've got the horses. Now the thing about the uh, rolling back my drivers is that my graphics card is not locking up at 99% right now. I'm really hoping that it's fixed. I'm truly hoping so. If it's not, then I truly don't know what I'm going to do. I will be very sad. Because I'll know that more than likely I just need a new graphics card. Which I am not prepared to purchase. Like I say, it corrected the issue in another game that I was having lockups in. Oh, bees. Hello. Anytime you can get your hand on this many bees, I mean, you can't pass up the opportunity. They're not that common a sight in Skyrim, believe it or not. common sight today. After all those bees, I'm saving. <laughs> Don't want to lose out on them. Ooh, this is interesting. Have I not been here before? I thought that I stopped by here before. Was it in a previous life? Perhaps? This all seems so familiar. There's a dead rabbit. An iron dagger. But more importantly, there's a chest here.
The Refugees. I have not read that. Apparently I have not been here. So... There is that. Chest is locked. And we've got lock picks. Heals 214 points and restores lost skill levels. If cast at the sun, heals an additional 500 points, but blinds the caster. <laughs> okay. See, I remember this. Well done, ladies. Well done. I may be hungry. You ladies don't mind, do you? Of course not. And I am hungry, so that's a good thing. These ladies are so used to my ex... ex ah, I can't talk. <sighs> Exyncrasies? I don't know. Can't recall the lingo. It doesn't matter, anyways. Where's the other one? Wasn't there three? Of course there was. Alright, let's see. Back on the road. Is there another beehive anywhere, or was that the only one? I think that must be the only one. That looks like a very healthy elk over there. We'll leave him be. Now, this seems like I'm going in the way, but I'm not. Okay. What's up here? Curiosity may be getting the best of Aranor today. Because he is curious when he sees paths less traveled. Oh, is that Helgen? I think that's Helgen. Maybe I found a shortcut. It is Helgen. Okay. Guess I just decided to go in this way. <laughs> Why is it locked? Why is it locked? Alright, let's go in the other way. I don't want to break in. These people may be friends. And if they're friends, they may not take kindly to me breaking in. Hello. Clearly you are a man-eater, so I will put you out of your misery. Did have the option of Kind's peace there, but to be honest, he's clearly a man-eater. Alright, nothing here.
All right, so let's see if we're expected from this direction. That answer is no. So you know what? We're going to wait. We're not going to go in here yet. Something about it doesn't feel right. Something about it just doesn't feel right. Ladies, let's get on the horses. There's Susie and Sally. Alright. Let's go take care of this vampire problem first. Let's see if we can make contact with these they must be out. I'm guessing they're not there right now. So we will uh, see if we can make contact with them on our way back. Should work out just fine. Stepping out of character. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be those spikes out here with the skulls on them. And I'm afraid when I purged the cell buffer that I may have to wait the three days again. So, that's what I'm going to do. Then again, I don't think so. Let's go in there. Let's test it. I'll save before I go in. that because I saw a guy standing there. So obviously somebody's in here. Friend or foe, I do not know, but somebody is in. Stop right there. Don't even think about moving. You see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. I'm holding an axe now, covered in blood. I hope they you? don't consider that funny. And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak. <clears throat> Easy now. I'm not I'm not here to start any trouble, you guys. Then you need to give me a reason why we shouldn't just kill you where you stand. Well, for one, you'd have a pretty difficult task doing so. But more than that, I have an urgent matter that I need to discuss with Valerius, and I know he's here. Never heard of him. You are mistaken. There's nobody by that name here. One of you guys, no, Valerius, over there? Way. We don't want to hurt you. Look, I have an urgent message from Marcus Janus, and I must be given passage. Don't know him either. I'm beginning to run out of patience with you. Leave now. Come on now, I know who you are, and you're no bandits. I don't know who you are, stranger or what you want, but I advise you to choose your words very carefully from here on out. Hey, Weedian, how you doing, buddy? Here, I have a gift from Marcus. It's Val's wife's wedding ring. Let me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus? From the war, Marcus Janus. Why didn't you say so? Yeah, yeah. ask away, Weedian, ask away. I did, and I have a letter from him for Valerius, his eyes only. Very well. I will take you inside. But all of us have our eyes on you. And if you try and start trouble, it will be the last trouble you ever start. Follow me. Very well. Hello. It's nice not to have to stick you with my axe or any arrows today. need to change the field of view in the any so I don't have to change it every time I come into the game because I always forget 
What is your question, sir? I am awaiting so that I might respond. Oh, it was a long question, huh? Balthring, what do you think you're doing? Who is this person, and why have you brought them in? Um, to be honest, Weedian, I'll be away most of the weekend. Um, I, I, I've been in the beta, so I can play, no problem. But I'm going to be away this weekend. Um, we're taking some kids that I work with on Wednesday nights. I'll actually be leaving to do so in about an hour and a half. Um, but we're taking some kids that I work with um, to a concert Saturday night, and it's about three hours away. And uh, we're going to be staying overnight there and then coming back sometime on Sunday. So I'm not sure that I'll really be on too much for, uh... Do you have the stream open a couple times? You may need to refresh. Sometimes it seems like it loads a ghost of the stream in the background for people. But there definitely should not be an echo anywhere. Has an urgent message for you from Marcus Janus. He was alone, and I thought you would want to talk to him. Well, I'm not what? strictly alone. I've Marcus got a couple Janus. girls with me. Balfring, have you gone completely mad? That's impossible. I thought the same thing, sir. But it's true. He showed me a letter to you with Marcus's seal. It's real, all right. And, sir, somehow Marcus has found Sabrina's wedding ring and sent it to you. Very well. We'll see about this. Well, Frank, you are dismissed. All of you may resume your patrols. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are or why you're here, so you'd better have some good answers to my questions. All Can right. I see that ring? Yeah, here, take it. It's yours. So you were sent by Marcus Janus? Where is he now? He's in Falkreath, waiting for me to return with your answer. And do you know how he came into possession of this ring? All right, Weedian, enjoy, relax, get to feeling better, and uh, we'll talk to you later then. If I do happen to get any time to play this weekend, you're more than welcome to check in. I mean, the nice thing about ESO is it's all one big server, so there's no problem meeting up with anybody who deems worthy to play, and I am definitely have no problem if you want to join. And if you're playing with Tankor, you guys are welcome to be on TeamSpeak. I mean, if Tankor wants to give you our... TeamSpeak password and stuff, that's just fine. So, uh, if, if so, you guys have fun. And I'll try to catch you at some point if I can. <laughs> Alright, so we must have found it in the city, in the Imperial City, after you were imprisoned. Yes, yes, I suppose that may have been possible, but I, this is all so overwhelming. I am quite sorry for the loss of your family. Thank you. I love them very deeply. I nearly went mad after they were murdered by those Altmeri dogs. I wanted nothing but vengeance. Every day of my life is burned with nothing but the desire to make them pay for their murders. But enough of that. Now let's see this letter you brought. Mm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, it's certainly you, all right. But what do you want with me? Tell me, how has he found me here? He heard about a name, bandit named Val that had taken over the fort, and he thought it might be you. Very clever, that one. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> it's not far from the truth, though. Fitting ruse is that's about what we've become. Living our lives in the shadows, hiding and skulking about like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of cheese. You are an honorable man, and he said you served with distinction in the war. Plus, I mean, you want to kill Al Altmiri, you're the perfect ally for me. Honor? Bah. Any honor I had died with the first Altmiri diplomat I assassinated. Hey, but there's honor in that. that he knew. But no doubt he's filled your head with tales of glory from the war. Stories of the keepers of Hatu. No, I'm afraid that man no longer exists. This hatred... It's consumed me, taken my life. I suppose I would still be rotting down in that damn prison were it not for Marcus. Now I'm just rotting here instead. And rot is nonetheless still rot. 
only difference really is where and how. Well, maybe Marcus can help. Perhaps that's why he wants to meet with you. Why would he want to help me? After he sees what I've become, he'll leave soon enough. But go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. At least then we can say our proper goodbyes to one another. Never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please leave me in peace. Very well, Val. Pleasure speaking with you. I look forward to killing some Ald Mary alongside you at some point, hopefully in the future. Hey, Tankor, how you doing, buddy? You have got a Tig that's fairly pleased that hopefully his Skyrim issue have has been resolved. Um, so yeah, I am hoping that is the case. Nothing new to talk about right now, friend. Stay safe out there. You do the same. Take care. All right, so now we're gonna go try to kill ourselves a vampire, find ourselves a journal, uh, see what we can do for a dog, and uh, yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, I reinstalled the distant objects mod because obviously that wasn't causing my issues because it was still continuing after I removed it. So I reinstalled it, and. Uh, Funny enough, I was playing Rift um, last night and getting the same graphical issues. I was getting graphical lockups. Like, basically, I'd be running along and the graphics would just pause. And then they would start back up and the graphics would catch up. So, like, if I was in a cutscene or something, the audio would continue, but then after the lockup, the, the video would have to ke play catch up. It was really weird. And, uh,. I mean, even bef before yesterday, I before yesterday I did the f uh, complete wipe of the drivers and reinstalled the newest driver and all. And uh, but before then, I was getting actual crashes where the the my screens, both my monitors, would turn black, and it would come up and tell me that my graphics drivers had ceased working and they recovered from an error. And uh, so there was nothing I could do. But what I ended up having to do to fix it is I uh, ended up rolling back to the previous driver version. So I wiped my system again. Used to com I use a um, um, graphic driver uninstaller um, and wipe the system. And I go into safe mode, wipe the system. So I did that and then I uh, installed the previous version of drivers and everything seems okay. So. What it was is I had updated my graphics drivers like on Saturday and I really hadn't done too much on the PC until I was playing Skyrim and getting the issues and uh, so apparently that's what it, whoa what's going on here um, what is going on That's a bit of depth of field issue. All I could see was the fog. Because clearly it's a bit foggy up here. And if there's a big patch of fog, then it made my vision go blurry. Not FOV, it was uh, depth of field. DOF. It was the DOF, not the FOV. <laughs> it was the DOF. Alright, Tankor, we'll see you when you get back. got here there's a giant store recruited stormcloak giant
And apparently they don't like the Thalmor. Well, I don't like the Thalmor either, so... They killed a freaking dog! Like, uh, what the bloody hell was that? <sighs> I'm gonna look, hang on. This is one of those areas where it does warn that I could get some crashes, so... If that's the case, I'm just gonna have to keep loading in until I don't. Because of Fight with the Aldmeri, um, it's a quest line, or a mod. It's possible that I may get some crashes here. Let me see if that's what it was. Let's see, it's 4.05. It may have been a mod, but I don't know. The last warning I got was at 4.03.49. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll just load it back in and see if it happens again. But yeah, no, that's one of the big warnings with uh, one of the fight with the Thalmor deals is as you go up in this area, you're very likely to get some crashes because of a lot of mod cells added. But hopefully they will have buffered in and... Uh, it won't crash a second time, we hope. We shall see. Yeah, it was interesting. That's the first time I've seen a recruited giant working for the Stormclaws. Pretty cool. Funny thing is, I was actually reading about the mod, um, Civil War overhaul and uh, apparently when that mod author was going through the stuff that Bethesda had cut out of the game um, one of the quests you were supposed to be able to do for the Civil War stuff was to go around and recruit giants if if you were a Stormcloak and you were supposed to be able to recruit giants to fight in the Civil War for you. Oh, hello! Um, Imperials. Hey, what the heck? Who are you? Oh, you're a scavenger. I had assumed he was a stormcloak, and he hit me. Don't let him yield. He just about killed me. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. At least you guys were on your toes. I appreciate that. I was getting ready to scavenge what he was scavenging, and he didn't much care for that, apparently. Decided to hit me over the head with an axe. Hey, Rich. How you doing, buddy? He'd mainly scavenge it off of that guy. You know what? I need some tea because it's chilly. I've got a nice thermos of some tea here. So we'll drink some of that. Oh, nice. Just in time. Still feel chilly, but at least I'm not very cold. Hey, Rosaria! Uh, I rolled back my graphics driver and it seems to have solved the issue I was having. Um, I had one crash today, but it was just one of the normal right there. Did it again. I'm getting... I'm in the area where... Um, what is it? Fight the Thalmor. One of the parts for Fight the Thalmor loads in. And there's a big warning with it that when you're in this area of Skyrim, you're more than likely going to get a few crashes. So it just kind of says just bear with it and relaunch the game until you get through it. So I don't know. 
it is what it is. It actually says if you may have to use fast travel to get to the uh, places around here, but I'm not too up for that, so we'll see what I have to do. Trying to go kill a vampire for the dude in Falkreath, his ancestor that apparently escaped his grave. But yeah, the, the um, graphics card dying situation seems to have been remedied by rolling back to an older version of the driver. So, I hope so. But see, this Thalmor checkpoint over here is the, um, the quest, or the modded quest added in. And uh, it adds in this area down here. And they say as you come down into this area around, like, this stuff... Thalmor prison and whatnot that's over here, whatever all that is, it can cause a lot of crashes. So just kind of have to bear with it. Unless I can't actually get anywhere, then we're going to have to figure this out here. Hang on. If it's going to crash every time, then that's clearly not going to work for me. Let me check my uh, memory logs here and see what they're saying, if the memory's crashing it or what. Let's see, data, SKSE, plugins, memory blocks log, what are you getting to? It's not the memory blocks. All right, let me find something here. Let me go to the mod page and see if there's been an update for it or something or any other suggestions. Um, bum, 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 bum. Cyrodiil Frontier. It's the second part to fight against the Thalmor. And it adds in Thalmor checkpoint and on down. Let's do, let's go to the crashes and CTDs. It's a greedy mod in RAM. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, all it says is, to lower your graphics settings or to fast travel to the Thalmor checkpoint, make a save, and then quit the game to clean your memory. Um, it also says mod conflicts may cause it. All right, let me look at the actual forum posts or the posts here and see if anybody's got suggestions. All right, so somebody else getting a lot of crash to desktop with Helgen Reborn.
I'm just looking at this. Yeah, this person. I confirm this mod is incompatible with Helgen Reborn. I crashed desktop loading zone between the Bloodlet Throne and Thalmor Prison, but it doesn't always. Yeah, we're just going to fight through these crashes. We're going to get closer and closer until we're where we're trying to get to. Because I don't want to uninstall either of them. And people are saying you just have to kind of fight through it. It's just there's conflict between Fight Thalmor and Helgen Reborn. It is what it is. So we're going to live with it and just try to get where we're going. be nice if my game would come up there again. <laughs> it's weird to put my it loaded up behind my internet window. Alright, so we're gonna run forward a bit. Let's save. We may swing wide a little bit, see if it helps. I don't know. Let's go over here. Not sure what's going to help, but we'll see if we can get there. Make sure this is where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, it is. Hopefully it was just that intersection that was a little derpy. All I have to do is get here and then I'll be okay. <laughs> Save one more time. You did two very awesome things today? What two very awesome things did you do? Alright, well we've discovered it, so now we're gonna save, because if it crashes... Then... At least we can fast travel to it, if we have to. Hey! Wait, 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 wait! Don't kill the husky, please! Please don't kill the husky! Cry. Don't kill the husky, thank you. Just leave the poor dog alone. I have a husky and they're great dogs, I don't want any killed on my account. If I can prevent it. There. Shaved your beard and had maple bacon. Those are two very awesome things indeed. <clears throat> I did two very terrible things today. First, I uh, woke up. Second, I went to work. Right, let's see if I've got some other tea here. Yeah, I need to warm up. Am I still very cold? I am still very cold. So I guess we're going to drink some more. Minus 51. Okay. Do I have a spell to warm myself up? I can't remember. Let's look. I 
Bone spirit. I don't think I have the mana yet for that. Fox skin. Still fifty one. <laughs> right. I think that just increases my exposure protection. It doesn't actually make me warmer. So I don't have a way. It says I have effect hot tea. Warms me up, gets me focused. Maybe being here will warm me up. Oh, there's brazers down there. Nice. there. Yes. Nice one, ladies. Very nice. Maybe eating will, uh... Eh. Just butcher him. Not hungry. Let's look. Vampire. I'll take those, actually. Alright, Tankor. See you when you get back. Alright, now I need to get down there to one of these warm fires. Save first, though. Warm fires. Oh, hello. Just a lesser soul there. Nothing too great. More importantly, I'm warming up. I'm guessing this is a lavender tea effect that's making me glow red. I don't really know. I may have to look for a mod that removes these glowy effects, to be honest. I don't much care for them. See you later, Sal. Thanks for your help, buddy. Alright. So what do we 
we have in here then? Anything? I feel completely warm. The door is barred from the other side. Nobody. Ha! Found you. Wait, what difficulty am I on? Master. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I guess I waited until I'm a higher level this time. Because last time it wasn't so easy that I ever. And that was a different life, by the way. It wasn't this character. So, plus they're not actually wearing armor, they're just wearing dark clothes, which I really like the look of, so I'm taking them, because as I start making stewards and uh, leaving people in houses and stuff, they need good clothes to wear, so... The Wolf Queen, Volume 5. Take that. No oh, candlestick. No. Actually. No. Actually. No. It's, it's a pretty valuable candlestick, though. I need 75 for that. dare I want to steal from these people? How dare I, says the game. Alright, Spirit of Nern, I don't have. Lots of books that I don't have, apparently. The Bear of Markarth. I literally don't have any of those books. That's pretty crazy. I've been picking up a lot of books. So I'm rather surprised to run ac across such a uh, supply of books I did not have. Haven't a damp, dreary cave. Or maybe able to snipe some people if we're lucky. Yes, like this. <laughs> that one was wearing armor. Oh, hello. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's not the intended. Uh, let me go ahead and use a potion because that hurt. So 
Some fast healing may be in order here. Vampire Night Stalker. Hey, that hurt. Um, that doesn't look friendly. Do I have any magic? Alright, let's, uh... See if I can kill something here. guess as to where that guy was located. I sure couldn't see. Ow! Let's get up there. Come on, Emily. Let's get him. Let's go. Good job, ladies. Good job. Hope you both are okay. Bosmer gauntlets. Bosmer reinforced coif. Some decent stuff there. Ah, this must have been where that gargoyle was. It broke out of its stone encasing there. See what that is. Kavach Guard Cloak. Wonder what that does. Does it have a magical effect on it, I wonder? Kavach Guard Cloak. It does. Bolivian crisis. Hail, Dragonborn. You care for a? Uh, let's see what it does first. Let's see here. Oh, adaptation. 4% resistance for how long I've been here. Um, maybe I have to come out and then go back in see what it did.
No, nope, I don't see anything special from the cloak. Just the normal deal. So yeah, we'll put my other one back on. Which one was it? Was it one of these, really? No, I wasn't wearing a black one. Was I? Maybe I was. I wonder how it looks on me. Yeah, no, definitely not. Alright, so I must have been wearing one of those black cave bear cloaks. I've got three of them apparently. So I should probably look into changing cloaks because that's clearly a common cloak to be had. <laughs> and I don't want to look like a commoner. I mean, look at this mask. Do I look like a man who wants to look like a commoner? Anyways, maybe the cloak will look good on you. Let's see. What do you need to take? Nothing. Just want to give you a nice cloak. Where did it go? There it is. Care to wear that? No, you'd rather wear your shoulder cape? I'm gonna take that because I want you to wear the other one. All right. Nice. Kinda like it. Kinda like it, Emily. Alright, let's uh... Do I have anything to disenchant? Probably not. Nope. We've got vampires to loot though. Night Stalker. It's a glass long sword. Ooh, Spellbinder. He's wearing a full Spellbinder set. Or she. I didn't realize that was a chick. <laughs> Oh, the things you don't know when they're wearing heavy armor. Alright, is that armor better for you, Lydia? Let's see. How can I serve you, my Thane? Well, I'm just needing to check and see if this is any better for you. Apparently yes is the answer to that question. 166. Yep, it's slightly better than the witch plate stuff. So we'll let you wear the spellbinder. Let's get going then. Look kind of ridiculous wearing a full I've got your back. mask, but you know it's safer, I guess. How can I serve you, my? As long friend? as your vision's not too limited. I'm gonna take that fur collar off of you, though. Let's get going then. Give the fur collar to. Emily and see how it looks for her. Of course, but perhaps someone as kind as yourself will keep my load light. Oh, your load is light. I'm just giving you a fur collar. Are you gonna wear it? No, because she's wearing earrings in its place, I guess. So I'll take that. All right. All right, indeed. Maybe I'll wear it. Let's see if what it looks like here for me. Yeah, that's not bad. Covers up the neck area where the mask doesn't reach. I need a lighter color cloak though for it. That's okay. I'll leave it on for now. It's not hurting anything. Amethyst. Hello. Uncommon taste. All right, the gourmet. have those books. I think I just got them upstairs. 
is that? That looks like an arrow. That I can't take, apparently. Alright, um, who's in the water? Dead, right, ladies? Oh, okay. Oh, another one. She was wearing ring mail stuff. So I'm thinking vampires aren't uh, compatible with the mod I've got. I don't know. It's weird. The only thing special about these is that they're vampires. Let's see is that one? Yeah, I'll have to look into that. That means looking at mods that are stupid, but whatever. I chose to have a mod that makes the females look a little bit better. That's what I have to put up with to deal with it and get it working properly. Or if anybody knows of a mod patch, compatibility patch or something between CBBE and vampire skin tones, let me know. I think it's just vampires I'm having issues with. The Oblivion Crisis. I need that book. Dunmer of Skyrim. Song of the Askelde Men. Interesting, the Eskelde men. Alright. Argonian Account Book 3. Okay. Is chat still working? Or is it just nobody's there to talk? Killing before you're killed. Looks like an interesting cover on the book. Hey, Jess, how you doing? Come on. Oh, nice, Jess. Very nice. Glass Dagger of Garnering. I wonder what that enchant is. Incident at Necrom. Illusion. Scroll of Blizzard, Scroll of Fury, Coin Purse. Nice finds here. Crown. here. 
Biography of Baron Zaya, Volume 2. A flute! I found a flute. Flutes are good. I don't think I had a flute yet. I think I, I had a lute and a drum. And now I have a flute. School of Fear, School of Calm, Potions. I think I'll sleep in this bed! Not really, ladies. Alright. Bum, 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 bum. So what sense is he leaning towards? Cake and the diamond, Vernacus and Borler. Okay, I'll take that. Hello, pup dog. Are you gonna make me have to kill you after if I let you out? Actually, I have Kind's Peace. Hundred and fifty cents, huh? Nothing so simple as vanilla. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. Is it laggy for anybody else? Oh, wait a second. Don't don't kill him. Let's just see if he'll Go on now. Go about your life. Go on your way. There's one called Simply Vanilla. Nice. That's epic. Let's go, girls, before the wolf changes his mind and decides that he wants us to kill him after all. So why is this area over here so well lit? Leads to an underground stream. I guess maybe this is where they gather their water. I suppose that makes a modicum of sense. Oh, we're up above where we were. Oh, and I'm still hungry. Let me go ahead and eat something here real quick. I didn't want to eat any, uh, vampires, so. Save again. Got a pull chain. Be ready, ladies. Be ready. You there. Hello. I do not wish to do so. How about you die? Emily, are you okay? Oh crap. Uh, that dog just go. Oh, 
Um, how about some... I don't think paralysis is going to work. She's a vampire. Even if she is coming back to life. Um... Alright, ladies. I can still fight. We can do this. Let's uh I'm gonna heal you guys, okay? Because you guys are been worse for wear. How about that? You feel better? Alright, healing hands again. Come here, Emma. You okay? You okay now? I hope. Ah, uh, yeah, the coffee grinds to, uh... Neutralize the smells, huh? I guess I didn't realize he was actually having to smell each one. <laughs> I thought he was just looking through a list of them. Alright, that's cool. I got some Red Guard armor. I'm thinking more and more about going to find Gore. Putting him in some proper Red Knight attire. And uh, Red Guard attire. And uh, putting him to task if he's up for it. Well, we uh, killed his grandpa. I think it was his grandpa. I don't know. What was his name? Dang Dangar or something? His grandpa. He said his ancestor. Maybe it's not his grandpa. Maybe it's like his great 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 grandpa. I don't know. It was somebody that he was related to and he was a man, so it was his grandpa. I slaughtered his grandpa. Silver, huh? Yeah. Chest. Ash Longbow of Sparks. Sapping, banished living. And I have a phone call. I will be right back.
Sorry about that, I'm back. I had a buddy of mine, he's moving from Vermont, and he had a, a little, you know, shipping pod, and uh, he got back today and the shipping pod was gone, so he was wanting somebody to look up and make sure that it was the moving company that came and got it. So, I did. I looked for him. Anyways. So we emptied the chest after killing the grandpa, and, uh, yep, yeah, we're good. You know, if it was the Adams family we were talking about, I'd feel really bad about killing grandpa. I just want to point that out. Are you going to wake up? No? She was a vampire too. Yeah, she's got a Nexium as well. I gotta. Oh, I've leveled up. Sweetness. I've gotta look and see what's causing the Nexiums for uh, vampires. Is the stream still lagging for you, Jess? Actually, let's level up and then we'll save. Um, 275 is how much magic I have. And I need to catch my health up now. Perks. I may really need to start considering putting some perks in magic. But I'm still trying to fix, get my uh, skills in archery. Maxed out takedown. Mobility. I think I'll go with mobility. It's a good ability for a uh, short bow. Alright, save. Alright, so on the map now we need to go up and over. We're going to try to find his journal. And it says it's in South Fringe Sanctum. feel like I explored up in that tower. Let's go exploring around here. Don't want to leave this area unexplored. Quicksilver. Actually, you know what? Watch my back. We need Quicksilver. I don't know what for what, but it's not that common, so we need it. Is there anybody in chat that can type something for me? I want to make sure chat's not messed up. Thanks, Jess. I appreciate that. There's a bow here. Elven Longbow of Despair. I'm carrying... And that over-encumbered me. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. Alright, let's make sure... Get over to this chest and check it out before I start trying to figure out my inventory. As we should be able to get Jack without too much trouble. He shouldn't be too far away. Open arrows. Alright. Thanks, Rich. Appreciate it.
Is that Lydia I just saw running up the hill? I'm guessing. Alright. Let me just go see if there's anything out front, up top here. At a very slow pace. Just don't want to miss anything. There's a window. The brazier. Alright. Nope. Nothing of note here. I can at least move a little bit quicker. Alright. Where is that at? Long stride. Alteration magic for the win. Alright. Uh, let's save. Let's go find Jack. Hello, horsies. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to fight us. We're friendly. Seriously. Leave the dog alone. Well, nice, Jess. Is that the first order? And how much did you need? What was your goal again? Longbow of Despair. Oh, that's a stamina absorption. That's pretty nice. I think I need to give that to Emma. So I've seriously got a full set of Red Guard armor. Red Guard Knight armor. Hey Shane, how you doing, buddy? Just uh unencumbering myself, shall I say? Another banished living. There we go. I'm still above where I was. 
Not sure what I'm still carrying that I wasn't. Oh, the longsword. I need to give that to Anna. Okay, that'll do. That will do. I'm sure it's better for her. Next? I always say, when in doubt, follow the Nern route. Because of, certainly, I'll take any necklaces if you have them. How about a better so sword? Villain, Actually, your sword is best. better than the glass sword. Are you serious? That hero Nord sword? But you'd rather use the glass sword. I figured you'd probably rather, rather use the glass sword. I just knew it to be true. Divine it looks, looks better for you too, Emma. A long sword versus a broad sword. I'm sure she prefers the long sword. All right, so I didn't realize how wrong that could sound until after I said it. So we'll just leave it at that. Okay, let's see if the game's going to crash again at this intersection. Because it was around this intersection where it crashed as I got close to the Thalmor checkpoint. Because we have to get over there to try to find this journal. And it did. Okay. To be expected. So when we're actually ready to do that Thalmor quest, we're going to have to fast travel to that point. And then be fine. But not ready to fast travel yet. We'll just go around. See if it crashes coming from the other direction. Because, I mean, literally, if I walk on the other side of the road, it didn't crash. Remember, I was headed to the Bloodlet Throne. <laughs> so. Because, like, if I walk up like over here. didn't crash. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save again. Now what's actually causing this crash, just so you guys know, is because the Thalmor prison for Helgen Reborn is right there. And uh, the Thalmor checkpoint and all that, and the fight the Thalmor quest also utilizes nav meshes in this area. So I think as I get close over to here, I'll probably crash again. But it could just very well be that there's a spawn location at that intersection that both of the mods are trying to use. I don't rightly know. But for now, I'm navigating okay, staying on this side of the road. So I will continue to save readily. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uncover this point because if I am having issues in this neighborhood, then I may very well break. Down. Oh, damn it, it crashed. Okay. I may very well break down and uh, fast travel as needed when traveling for these quests in this area. Because um, fast traveling and then you save and then you load it in again. It's a little immersion breaking, but I really want to be able to do the fight the Thalmor quests. So, <laughs> sacrifices must be made for the greater good. And it's because of Helgen Reborn versus the Thalmor. The guy who put together fighting the Thalmor abandoned his mod, apparently. So there's been no compatibility patches or anything come out for it. And I haven't been able to find anything good to help counter the conflicts between the two. I'm going to keep looking though, because there's got to be some people out there that are like, we want to have both mods. Damn it. It's not letting me get close enough to explore to discover the point. Like I said, it's a combination between Fight the Thalmor, Helgen Reborn, because Helgen Reborn puts the prison there. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people 
how many posts I read that said the game crashes around the prison, or uh, you know, and just people just say you just have to fight through it or uninstall, and I'm wanting to fight through. I don't want to uninstall, so I'm gonna try to sneak out around to the far side of the prison, and then try to pop in because I at least got the point explored just barely at one, at one stage there. So if I can do that, then I'll be happy. If I can get this to where it's on my map. Where is the? Uh... Okay, that's where I need to go for it. But I really do need to explore this point. See, there's Thalmor stuff up ahead that's loading in. So I'm gonna stand here and wait for that. I'm gonna try to pop across. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, so close! It explored it and then it crashed. <laughs> All right. Um, somebody else had said if you go ahead and go up to the Thalmor checkpoint and kind of clear it, then that may help solve the issue here. So I'm going to try that next. I'm going to go up, kill some Thalmor because, I mean, why not, right? And we'll see if I can get that done. And then I'll come back and see if I can explore the uh, prison. So I'm going to sneak around without exploring, without discovering the prison, and then we'll see. I don't know. I, this is all kind of testing, trying to get these mods to work together the way they're hopefully going to in the long run. I only have to come to this prison like one time. I only really have to go through the checkpoint one time as well. So. Let's go clear this checkpoint. And maybe not. Let me check the log on that one. really want to get this to work. Alright, I'm going to look for a compatibility patch or something. Just give me a second, guys. There's got to be something out there. Let's see, what's this? It's from the Helgen Reborn guy. Wait a second. What What did he just put something in here about... Okay. Updates. This is a minor update that tweaks. <clears throat> okay, so... His version 1.5.2 says it should fix Okay, I have to I'm going to do something real quick here you guys just bear with me. I'm going to launch back in. I'm going to go ahead and enable my ability to fast travel. I'm going to fast travel back to my house. The stream is getting close to being done. So if you guys are wanting to see more gameplay then uh, there's probably not going to be any more today. I'm just going to be trying this out. I've got to leave in about 15 minutes anyways, so that's really going to be all that's going on is me trying to get this patch loaded in. So if you're wanting to go, I understand. I may even end the stream in about five minutes just because for it to stay as a two-hour block of video, it'll be better if I do. 
Um, of course, if I go over, I probably just won't upload anything beyond that. All right, there's Lydia's way back there. No, who's that in the woods? I don't know. It doesn't matter. All right, so mod config. I gotta go to Frostfall here. Immersion breaking time. All right, so gameplay allow fast travel. Map. Going back to the house. Can't travel from here. Why not? There's too many. There's enemies close by or something. Let's see. Is that a courier or something? No. Can I fast travel from here? Yes. It's the first time I think I fast traveled in this playthrough. It's all just so I can fix a mod. Alright, I'm gonna load in here. Go inside. All right, ladies, come over here with me. Save. Load. And save again. All right. Quit to desktop. Open up Nexus Mod Manager. Let's see what version of Helgen Reborn I'm using. If I'm already using 105.3, then I've got the newest version. I think I probably am, but I don't know. I am. I'm using 1 point, or 105.3. Um, so let me look through this here. All right, so this is his deal. He crashed when I crash when I go near the Thalmor prison, and then his deal is a. If you're using the Cyrodiil Frontier, fight against the Thalmor Part Two. They are not presently compatible in version 103 and up. I have done everything he can on his end in those versions. He's also tried to contact the mod author for the fight against the Thalmor, but it appears that they have abandoned their mod. Um, some people have said that they were able to fast travel to the Thalmor checkpoint and walk over to the prison from there. Okay, I can give that a try. Alright, I'm going to try that. We'll fast travel to the prison. I mean, I enabled fast travel. Why not give it a try? See if you can walk over to the prison from there. I just have to d discover it. I just have to discover it. So that's all I'm trying to do. Because I know that the mods aren't quote unquote compatible, but I've seen enough people saying oh, that they've been able to get it to work. You just have to really fight to get. What the hell? That wasn't good. Check my Rybash, make sure my mods didn't get disorganized there. Because that crash shouldn't have happened. 
No, everything is still in order. That was a very strange crash to have happen. Probably because my game hates me for fast traveling. No, I don't know. Right, we're gonna load. Try it again. I may have quit the game too fast on this save. I may have to load on the previous save. Let's see. Oh, seems okay. All right, let's get out of here. So we're fast traveling over to the Thalmor checkpoint. I envision we'll have to kill people. So... Let's see what happens. I mean, we were over there by it, so it's not really cheating. I mean, I only fast traveled away to try to fix this issue anyways. Whoa! Feel strange thirst. Oh crap. Oh crap! I have vampire disease. I hope I have a cure disease potion. I was going to become a vampire. I don't want to be a vampire. I am hungry, apparently. All right, we're going to do a save here real quick. Okay, so now they said fast travel to the checkpoint. Don't actually go to the checkpoint, I guess. You just walk over to the prison. Nice. Okay, so now can I go on up into the hills and look for this place, South Fringe Sanctum. Let's go ahead and save on our test save here. So honestly, that's an easy enough save, or fix. If you just have to fast travel to the checkpoint to get to the prison, what, that's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal to me, anyways. Is chat derped, or is everybody just being quiet? for South Fringe Sanctum. Oh, it's over there. Oh, that's cool, Jess. Don't worry. I know I know you're busy. Don't worry about it. I just was wanting to know if chat was messed up. 